Earl cried as she married the old man, but his secret was discovered during their wedding night. A young girl named Eliza was married to Mr. Newton with tears in her eyes. Marriage was a transaction for her, a painful decision made to save her bankrupt family. Mr. Newton maintained a mysterious and silent demeanor to the outside world, and his previous wives had all mysteriously disappeared, leaving no one to know the truth. On their wedding night, the entire mansion was left with only Eliza and Mr. Newton, with dim lights in the house that seemed to be on the verge of extinguishing at any moment. Mr. Newton left early, stating that he had work to do, leaving Eliza waiting in silence. Loneliness and curiosity drove her to explore the old mansion. Eliza found a hidden switch in the study, and upon touching it, the wall slowly moved aside, revealing a downward staircase. When she reached the basement, the sight before her terrified her. The basement was filled with several glass coffins containing the bodies of Mr. Newton's previous wives. Beside the coffins were various file records documenting the final days of each wife and their mysterious ends. Among them was an empty coffin with a note attached with the ancient ink on the paper bearing Eliza's name. Follow me and let's look at the next part together. As I mentioned in the first part, a young girl named Elisa after marrying Mr. Newton, discovers the corpses of his previous wives in the basement of his house. Among them, she finds an empty coffin with her name written on a note attached to it. Standing in the basement, Elisa is overwhelmed with shock and fear. Suddenly she notices a door in the basement and decides to see what lies beyond. Inside, she finds a hidden room filled with all sorts of strange items and books. These documents reveal his true identity. He is a member of a cult, and his previous wives were sacrificed in dark rituals aimed at achieving immortality and supernatural powers. The more Elisa reads, the more terrified she becomes. But she also understands that she must escape, or she will become the next victim. She stealthily returns to her room, pretending everything is normal. The next morning, Elisa secretly goes back home and tells her family everything that happened. They decide to call the police, leading to an investigation into Mr. Newton. Eventually, he is arrested, and his nefarious actions are revealed during the trial.